I think I'm going to call this Walmart haul episode, the armholes are too big. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks so much for coming back. So today I have another Walmart haul for you and I've got some hits. I've got some misses, unfortunately. So we are just going to get right to it. Everything I talk about, I will link in the description box down below, as well as all of my sizing information. So if you have any questions, check the description box down below. And if you like Walmart hauls, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. I do them quite frequently. Okay. So I have a made it my quest to try every pair of scoop brand jeans and B I am on the search for the perfect white jean. So this pair of jeans, unfortunately is not the dream pair of white jeans for me. So these, so these are the slim trouser jeans from the brand scoop. So I like the idea of these. I am just too short for them. They are way, 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 way too long on me. They look kind of bunchy and funny at the ankle and where it hits my shoe. I just really don't like the length on them. I am between a two and a four and I got a size two typically with scoop jeans. I do suggest sizing down if you are in between and apart from the length, they fit fine. So I would say if you are tall, I'm five foot four. I would say if you're like five, six or taller, I think these are going to look really nice on you. Just not for my height or shorter. Uh, unless you want to get them hemmed or altered, but ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. The journey continues for the perfect white jean, but they didn't work out for me. But what did work out for me is that sweater top that I paired with the white jeans. So this is from the brand Free Assembly. It is this quote halter neck, although it doesn't like tie at the neck like a normal halter would. It does go down the back with like a racer back type of style. I definitely would suggest wearing a strapless bra with this, obviously because of the cut of the top, but this is a really pretty spring and summer top. It's going to go with any kind of light colored bottom or with jeans. I sized it down to an extra small. So I would say if you want more of a tighter fitted fit, you could size down. Otherwise just go with your normal size. I think I would have been fine with a small, but I did like how the extra small fit super pretty top. All right. And next up we have this dress from Sofia Vergara. So I will speak to the quality of this is it's very nice. It's a Jersey material. So it's super soft. It's super lightweight. It's really stretchy. It's really comfortable. This style is not really my style. I don't know. I just don't love the ruffles, that type of stuff. It's not my favorite style, but if this is your style, I think you would really enjoy it because it is very comfortable and it is a very good quality. It's not see-through. And like I said, it's a Jersey material. I sized down to an extra small in this as I typically would do for Sofia Vergara and it definitely was tight. So I would say if you have like a larger chest, I would not size down because the chest area was quite tight on me personally. I do wear a 34 C bra if that helps you out at all. So yeah, just so you know, it is a little tight, but it is very comfortable. Otherwise denim skirt with the frayed bottom is coming back in style. I mean, I didn't make the rules. I remember wearing these as a teenager. <laughs> so, I mean, it is very like a rodeo. It's very cowgirl. It's cute. It's cute. I don't hate it. This skirt is okay. I don't love the fit on me. Again, I think if I was taller, I would like it a little bit more. I just didn't love where it hit me on my legs, but I did get a size two again with Sofia Vergara. I usually say if you are in between, you would want a size down. This also comes in a regular denim style if you don't like the white, but I love whites and creams for spring and summer. Love, 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 love it. So I thought this was going to work out for me. I don't love, I don't love it on me. What do you think? You have to let me know. But anyway, it did fit otherwise, like the waist fit and everything like that. But I would definitely suggest sizing down if you're in between. And then I got this top to go with it. Okay, now I didn't really look very closely before ordering this. I thought it was just going to be like a ruffle sleeve, but it's actually a cold shoulder sleeve, which you're obviously going to see in the try on. You put your arm through the second hole here so that your shoulder sticks out. I didn't really love that. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't love how it looked. It just looked a bit strange on me. I would have liked it more if it was just like this, you know? Anyway, again, if this is your style, the quality of this feels really nice. I did size down to an extra small. I would say if you want it fitted, like you're going to tuck it into what I did, like with the skirt, you would want to size down. So it's really form fitting, almost like a bodysuit type of fit. 
If you don't want that and you just want a normal kind of shirt, little bit looser fit, I would just go with your normal size. This also comes in, I think, black and white, if I'm not mistaken. So I will, of course, link this down below. Not my style, unfortunately. All right, and then Time and True came out with this ribbed bodysuit. I love the chocolate color. Absolutely love it. It is definitely a ribbed cotton tank top that you would expect. So it's not like super soft. It's not super stretchy. It's, you know, it's fine. I think Sofia Vergara bodysuits are a lot more comfortable, a lot more stretchy, that type of thing, but it's fine. It is a thong bodysuit, just so you know. And I will say, I have a very long torso and this actually had extra fabric on me. Like it was almost too long for my torso. So I would say if you have a short torso, you want to skip this because it just, it's quite a long torso for the bodysuit. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is the armholes on this are really big. So if you're planning to not wear a bra with this, I think you'd be okay. If you are planning to wear a bra with this, gonna have problems possibly with your bra sticking out. And that would be okay if these were adjustable, which they're not. Like you could probably pick up the shoulder strap, but you can't. So mm -hmm. I don't love the fit on me personally, I'm gonna be honest with you. But if you have like a very long torso and you don't mind going braless or something like that, this might work for you, but I don't know. I just feel like there are such better bodysuits out there, at, even just at Walmart. I'm gonna link some Sofia Vergara bodysuits down below that I really like if you're looking for a tank bodysuit. I did get an extra small because with Time and True, I find that their stuff runs a little big and if I want something fitted, I size down. So I got an extra small and I already described how it fits. So you get it, right? Didn't work out for me. This one is full of disappointments, I'm so sorry. But this next thing I really like, <laughs> it is this cardigan from the brand Time and True. It's like this acid wash kind of edgier cardigan. And it is a very, very, very lightweight cardigan, which is going to be nice for the spring and the summer. It's almost like see-through, that's how lightweight it is. I have it in this brown and white color or like rusty color, but it does come in other colors. I got my normal size small and I love how it fits. So I would say if you want just like slightly oversized type of fit, go with your normal size, size up if you want it more oversized, size down if you want it more fitted, but going with your normal size should be fine with this one. Okay, and then this is the second time I'm buying these shoes because <laughs> I somehow ordered the wrong size the first time I ordered them. I got a size six. You have to be careful when you order online at Walmart because if you were not like super vigilant and like checking three, four times before adding to cart that you've picked the correct size, it like pre-populates to whatever the smallest or the largest size is. So just be careful with that. I guess I didn't check well enough. It put a size six in my cart, it didn't fit. So I went to go order them again, they were sold out. So finally, they're back in stock. I ordered my normal size eight. I'm between a seven and a half and an eight. Typically with a sandal, I go up to an eight just for the length. I don't love these. Again, I'll be honest with you, they're cute. Like the aesthetic of them is so cute. The raffia is so cute, but First of all, my feet are super narrow and this part is very narrow. So I would say if you have wide feet, you're not gonna like these because the actual footbed part is very, very narrow. And then as I'm walking in them, because of the strap where it's placed so high up on the foot, I feel like my actual foot and the shoe kind of move around and it doesn't stay like right underneath my foot. I don't know if that makes sense. My foot seems to like migrate to one side of the shoe just because of where the strap is. I don't know, they're cute, but I don't, I don't really think that they're gonna work out for me, unfortunately, but they're really cute. Okay, this is not Walmart, but I'm gonna put this in here because these are a pair of shoes that are working out for me marvelously. So these ones are from Target. I just got them in the mail the other day. I'm obsessed. Guys, the 90s are back. Like, look at these shoes. <laughs> I feel like they're so cute. It's a really nice way to give yourself some height without sacrificing comfort because of the chunky block heel and the platform. These are really, really easy to walk in. They have a memory foam sole and they're just really, really cute. I feel like they're gonna go with a lot of dresses. They're gonna go with a lot of shorts, with pants, with just about everything. This does come in other colors as well if you don't like the tan. I'm gonna link these down below. I hope they're still in stock. I mean, I just got these very recently, so I think they will be, but yes, I got a size eight. So I would say if you're in between, you would wanna size up. Such cute shoes. All right, and then I got this dress from the brand Time and True. 
This is a really cute, just like sundress, really cute for a beach vacation. It has pockets. So this has 8% linen in it. So it has that linen feel to it. Very beachy, very cute. Once again, the armholes are so, so big. And I think it's just because maybe just for my personal body type or whatever, the straps are just really long. So the armholes hang really low. Again, I think maybe if you're really tall, this would look much better on you than it does on me. And the straps are not adjustable. So I can't make them shorter. So unfortunately I will be returning this dress. But if you are tall, you would love this because it is a really beautiful, just breezy, easy, beachy, summery dress. Love it. Not form fitting, just flowy. Really, really pretty. And it has pockets. Did I mention that? It has pockets. I got an extra small, so it runs very oversized. I would say you could size down and it would still be oversized. All right, then we have a sweater dress from the brand Free Assembly. It's very similar neckline wise to the sweater halter that I showed you in the first outfit. It's the same brand, so you know, there's a theme here. So this is meant to be a midi dress and on me it's like between a midi and a maxi. It's very comfortable. It's a very nice thick material. I don't feel like it's see-through. I love the colors and the stripes. Isn't it interesting that there's horizontal stripes? I remember that being like a big no-no while I was growing up. Like you weren't supposed to wear horizontal stripes. But I feel like it's still cute. Like I don't feel like it's unflattering or anything like that. I did get my normal size small. I felt like it was a little big in the waist, but that's just my body type. So I would say go with your normal size, you'll be fine. If you want it extra fitted, I would size down, but it just depends on what you like for a fit. This is a really cute dress. All right, and then this blazer, I'm obsessed. I'm pretty sure right now it's in very limited sizing, although it is new, so I think it will be restocked eventually. This linen blazer, oh my goodness, how gorgeous is this? So it's completely open front with no buttons. It is this like bright reddish orange and on the back it ties. So I feel like it's a really feminine, silhouette for a blazer. It really pulls your waist in. There are shoulder pads just for your information. So it does extend your shoulders out a little bit and then bring your waist in. So it's super flattering. This is a really, really cute and unique different blazer. I did get my normal size small and it fits really nice, slightly oversized. So I'd say go with your normal size on this one. And under this blazer and the try on, I am wearing it with a Sofia Vergara bodysuit. I'm going to link them down below. Okay, this was a major fail. It was a major fail. It looked so cute on the model online, but on me, it just looked ridiculous. It is this striped shirt dress. Okay, now the idea of it is super chic, super cute. I look ridiculous. I look like I'm wearing a pajama shirt. That's what it looks like. Or I borrowed a men's shirt that is like eight sizes too big for me. <laughs> Even the sleeves were way too long on me. I could deal with it if the sleeves fit me and the rest of it being oversized. This just really was way, 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 way too oversized for me. I did get my normal size small. I think this suits someone that is a lot taller than me. <laughs> I just feel like it ate me up and made me look just kind of silly. I don't know. I love the colors, like the pink stripe going through it with the white, I think it's so pretty. The other thing about this that I don't suggest no matter what your body type is, is it is very itchy, like incredibly itchy. I had it on for five minutes and I wanted it off my body because of how itchy it is. Just be warned, I don't recommend this one. That's kind of all I have to say about that. Okay, yellow is becoming one of my most favorite colors. I feel like it is so bright and sunny and fun. So when I saw this striped yellow and white shirt dress online, I had to pick it up. This is from the brand Free Assembly. And it is just like your typical t-shirt dress. Not much to say about it, apart from the color and the stripes, I think is really, really fun. I did get my normal size small, and if it's good, again, I would have liked it to have been a little bit shorter on me, but otherwise it's a really cute dress. And it does come in other colors. I believe it comes in solids as well. I got my normal size small, so I would say going with your normal size would be fine. Unless you want it a little more fitted, you would want to size down, but my normal size was a little bit loose, a little bit more oversized, a little bit more relaxed. And I love pairing these in the summer with a pair of sandals or a pair of sneakers, and it's just like an outfit all put together for you. Okay, and then I bought this workout shirt from the brand Athlux. 
Never heard of this brand before, have you? Um, I planned to wear this to work. I teach ballroom dancing. So I thought this was kind of a fun, like athletic shirt that's not just like a basic old tank top with a pair of like leggings or something. The armholes are way too big on these. I really have to wear a sports bra with it. If I wear a regular bra, you would be seeing half the bra. So just be aware of that. I did get my normal size small and it is very like loose and oversized. So if you are looking for that loose oversized fit, go with your normal size. If you want it more fitted, size down. It is kind of cropped, but if you wear high-waisted bottoms, I don't think the midriff will show. It didn't show on me. And so it's a cute little top. This knot is an actual like sewed in knot. So it's not gonna come undone, which I love. And I love the color, it's pink. Obviously I love pink, but it does come in other colors as well. Overall, it's a cute little workout shirt. All right, and last but not least, I bought this romper from the brand No Boundaries. It's a cute romper. Um, there are some cons to it. The first one is, say it with me, the armholes are too big, but at least the straps are adjustable. But even when I did pull the straps up, all the extra fabric was hanging out to the side. So I would say if you are larger chested, you actually are gonna have pretty good room in this romper. The other thing is it is definitely too short of a torso for me. Like I said before, I have a long torso. The torso on this was very short. My butt was almost coming out of the shorts. So I would say if you have a short torso, this actually would probably fit you really nicely. It just didn't work out for me, unfortunately. I did get my normal size small and it is kind of borderline. I would say if you're in between, you would want to size up because it's no boundaries. It's the juniors line. So they tend to sometimes run small. All right, and that is it for this Walmart haul. I hope you enjoyed it. You've got to let me know down in the comments what outfit or what piece was your favorite. I would love to know your thoughts. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.